colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News. I am Ongil Zalalem and today we're talking about Facebook, aka Meta, getting sued in Kenya for exploitation and union busting. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. A lawsuit was filed in Kenya on Tuesday against Facebook owner Meta Platforms, alleging that poor working conditions for contracted content moderators violate the Kenyan constitution. The petition, also against Meta's local outsourcing company Sama, was filed by a former moderator. It alleges moderators in Kenya have been subjected to conditions including irregular pay, inadequate mental health support, union busting and violations of their privacy and dignity. A Meta spokesperson said the company takes our responsibility to the people who review content for Meta seriously and require our partners to provide industry-leading pay, benefits and support. The spokesperson also said that content reviewers are encouraged to raise issues when they become aware of them and that independent audits are regularly conducted to ensure our partners meet the high standards we expect. Sama declined to comment before seeing the lawsuit. It has previously rejected claims its employees were paid unfairly, that the recruitment process was opaque or that its mental health benefits were inadequate. What gets to me about the story is the fact that Facebook or Meta has not been accused of, at least not that we know of, has not been accused in other countries for exploiting their employees, for not paying them enough. It's interesting that they feel comfortable to do that in Kenya, not in the US, not in the UK, but specifically in Kenya. And it's not just Facebook. A lot of companies, big corporations, when they come to Africa, all of a sudden, you know, their pay grade goes down. The way they treat their employees, their values, their principles just go down because they know they can get away with it and it needs to stop. And I guess this is going to be an example for them. I like that these employees have sued Meta and they're clearly going to get a different and a better option in the future. I'm sure their contracts are gonna look different and their working environment is definitely going to improve in my opinion because I've seen these companies, huge companies, what their offices looks like in the US, um, in Europe, they make sure that their employees get the best experience but when it comes to Africa it's like they rent an office space and they like go work 24 7 and I'll pay you this much because I know another job will not pay you as much and at the end of the day we have to pay someone what they deserve like what work what kind of work that they put in did they work hard um, were they able to fulfill their job description if yes then they should be paid correctly they should not be paid in pennies just because they're in africa anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about meta getting sued in kenya i am on gilza i'll see you on the next one bye